Well, good morning, everybody. We might be getting a winter after all. Time will tell. And it's on that cheery note that I'm welcoming you back to a stable life. Right now we're looking at around 24 degrees Fahrenheit with wind chill of 14 degrees Fahrenheit. None of the horses are in, of course, because they are blanketed and all of them are looking pretty good and ready for some food. So I better get on that. George is already in, I let him in. He was actually out in the lower arena all night and he's doing fantastic. No worries, we're gonna go in and check on him a little bit later in the video. Just so you know, yesterday it was like mid 40s. It's just crazy how much things change in a day. All right, next up, we're gonna be letting in Poncho. Also, don't let my attire fool you. It actually is cold outside. I, I recently acquired some base layers as I was told by a lot of people that that would be something good to have so I don't have to wear as big and heavy jackets. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of working out pretty nice. I like it. Poncho, yeah, good morning. All right, and as you guys can see, the ground has completely frozen at least the top layer. And that's gonna be something that we need to watch this morning as we're letting in all of the horses today. We need to keep a lookout for how they're walking on the ground. If they're walking like it's not a problem at all, then that means their hooves are doing great. Like Jack over here. But if they're walking like really carefully and slowly, then that means that their hooves are a little weak. So we're gonna apply some hoof hardener to them this morning. Anything that we can do to help prevent them from getting an abscess. Here you go, boys. Let's see how doing. Moody. Champ and Rebel. Hey, hey, calm it down, guys, calm it down. Champ and Rebel are walking a little funny. Everybody else is walking good, including William. He's walking like it's not a problem at all. Look at him go. You can see that DSLD really flaring up in the back there. He, he don't care. <laughs> the power of a stallion, I guess, right? <laughs> oh, good deal. Everybody's where they need to be. Also check out casino stall. Look how good that looks. Yeah, new light, really snazzy. Just like to show you guys all the new stuff. All righty. Yeah, there's the donkeys. You guys enjoying your shed? Yeah. There's some food for you guys. There you go, go ahead and eat up. I'm gonna close your top window. It's a little windy today, okay? Don't need there to be a breeze coming through on them. And in other news, this door's fixed now too. As you guys may have noticed in our recent video where we were showing Tucker's hairstyles off. There we go. Looks like Poncho left a little bit of a mess in here, so we're gonna clean this up before we let in Tucker. The pink fork is one of the best forks we have here. It's got good straight tines. That's what you need when you're cleaning, good straight tines. There we go, much better. Now this is all ready for Tucker. We're just gonna close that window. Now we can let in the next herd. All right, here we go. Come on in, boys. There's Spitfire and Danny. It's like walking good. We got Declan and Duke. There's Swade, Obi, and Skywalker. Those two are always together. Samson. There's Tucker. Keep going, Tucker. Keep going. There's Argento. Fan Argento into his stall. Tucker, turn right. Good boy. Awesome. Clear the way for Gavin. Oh, hey, good morning, Sriracha. Hey, Poe. Hey, Docs. Yep. There's Poe. There we go. Thank you, Isabella. Good deal. That went over very well. We have a strong northern wind today, so I think I'm just gonna check the water trough. It's about half full. We will have to fill that up after we turn out. That'll be good for turnout, but then after turnout, we'll top that off. I'm just gonna close this because the northern wind is coming in pretty strong. All right, you guys, so we're here with George and he is, he's doing great. He's very alert, he's doing very well. But I wanted to show you guys on him. We're gonna be doing this on a number of horses, but I'm gonna be showing you on George here what we're gonna be doing to work on their hooves. So to start, I'm gonna use this little brush and just kind of brush off the hoof here. Try to get it nice and clean here. I know, what am I doing, right? There we go. Because what we're painting on is gonna be for the hoof and we don't want the dirt inhibit that. There we go, now we're gonna be using this hoof hardener and then we're gonna use a nice paintbrush 
And we'll just dip it in there, get a nice good coating. George, this is not food, because a stronger hoof wall is a good thing and will help prevent against further infection or other problems. And this just helps George on the road to recovery. Now, George isn't the only horse getting this. We actually have a couple of our horses that are gonna be getting this and then a couple of our clients' horses, but not all of them. A lot of the horses actually have a really good hoof wall and are very good at keeping the nutrients sent into their hooves. Some of them we can just give some vitamins in their grain, but others need a little extra support like George here. All right. All right. We're here with Samson now and I've already cleaned his hooves, but you can see how how good they look. We're just gonna apply our hoof hardener here. And like I said, we're not going near the coronary band. We're just going right along the bottom. He was being so good. I was like, you know what? I gotta film this. This is just perfect. So there you go. You can kind of see what I'm doing. And as you can imagine, you gotta trust the horse that you're working on. Cause I'm in a pretty vulnerable state right here. And I wouldn't put myself in such a state if I didn't trust the horse. So. Samson gets his hooves worked on all the time. So what I'm doing, you wouldn't necessarily do with most horses, but I know for a fact that Samson is more interested in that food that he's eating right now than me at all. Just that little bit of pre preventative maintenance now will save us just so much heartache later. Alrighty, we just finished up putting hoof hardener on a bunch of our horses, in case you're curious who we worked on. It was Duke, Skywalker, Spitfire, Casino, Samson, Poncho, George, Sriracha, and Tucker who chooses to be outside, by the way. His, his shed's completely open. He can be in there, out of the wind, completely fine. Nope, he's happy outside. I respect that, Tucker, I respect that. And speaking of outside, those feeders look mighty empty. Who's gonna feed you, Tucker? Don't worry, I'll get on it. And that means it's time to fire up the tractor. Which, by the way, guys, I have some exciting news about. Check it out. I'm so excited. I got weights put on the back of my tractor. I am over the moon excited. In case you're wondering why, these round bales are just a little too heavy for my tractor. Just, just a little, just a little. So my hope is that adding these weights on the back will change that. Not to mention having more weight on your tractor is a good thing. That means I'll have more power when I'm pushing through the manure. I'll have more power when I'm towing. It's just a good thing to have a heavier vehicle when it comes to tractors. So I'm very thrilled about that. Do I need a bigger tractor? Maybe. Do I have a bigger tractor? Technically, but it's not mine. This is mine, so we're gonna use mine. While that's warming up, I'm gonna put on a heavier jacket and I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Let's go for a walk, Scoots. I'm thinking we're only gonna need three round bales for today, but time will tell, so we got three opened up. Let's see how the feeders look. And let's see how the tractor performs moving the bale. Let's see how it does backing up the hill. That's a rock. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so happy. That's good. That's really good. Doesn't look as good as when Gavin does it. Well, there we go. One down. Taking a look at this feeder, there's a lot of hay in here that's still remaining. And I don't want to just dump another two bales on top of it. So we're going to fork all this hay over to this side and we'll put the round bale on this side and then we'll be ready to turn out the horses. All right, there we go. That should give them enough hay till the next time I'm out here bringing in round bales. Now let's get up to the stable. Something tells me the horses are ready to be turned out. Next up on our list of things that we need to get done today is our monthly grain order. So we're heading up and getting some grain. All right, we've got a pallet load of grain. And as you can tell, we ran into a little bit of an issue. Looks like I'm gonna need to start using two pallets to get the grain. It was too high and it just fell right over. So now not only do I have to load everything into the feed bins, but I have to do so manually. So I'm gonna go get a wheelbarrow. Oh yeah. 
Did we need this today? No, but we're gonna work with it. Whew. Well, three wheelbarrow trips later, we have a neatly stacked pallet. It's crazy how that works. I managed to get five bags per wheelbarrow load, so that's about 750 pounds we moved by hand. The rest I'm hoping the skid steer can do. Here's hoping. Good news guys, we got the rest of the pallet in the barn. Woohoo! Oh yeah, lesson learned. Gonna have to use two pallets next time. All right, well, as you can imagine, that put me behind schedule. And believe it or not, I was already behind schedule, so I need to get moving. Well, as you guys can tell, a lot of time has passed. It is completely dark outside, and it's almost 6 p.m., which usually I'm gone two hours ago. That's how far behind schedule I am. <laughs> I'm still letting out horses. The last little bit of them are getting a drink, but it's so dark out there that you can't see anything with the camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. It's always fun filming with you guys. And for our question of the day, it's going to be, do you eat ice cream in the wintertime? Or if you can't eat ice cream, a frozen dessert. I'm curious because I know my mom and I love having frozen desserts even if it's 20 degrees outside. That doesn't affect us at all. We still want our ice cream. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed to keep up to date on all future videos. Any new horses that are coming our way, any projects that are taking place, or any mistakes that happen. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.